Hello everybody, welcome back to an edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Yann Romana, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can improve our use of the function block. Okay, so uh, let's go to the software. So now that we have created the function block, there is a good way to test this in the future, just to check if everything is working fine. So the best one, uh, one of the ways to do it would be to create a visualization. So on the visualization, okay, you can create a variable type here, uh, instance, let's call instance, my FB. And here the FB is going to be FB underscore motor control. So here what you can do is to easily, uh, uh, I don't know, let's see, property visualization tool, uh, button, here is to run, so properties, here we can use the this one to run stop it's a stop uh start sorry start and here you have text variable you just call the instance that you have there start uh, color variable No, text variable is not there. My bad. Uh, text color, toggle color, um, and here you can have maybe not this one, like green. Input configuration on click. Uh, right variable or toggle variable. It's going to toggle the start. Okay. And then you can do the same with the stop. Stop. With the stop. Oh, you didn't see it. With the stop. I need to control C and control V there. So I can run stop it. Then I have the possibility to Trying to make it fastest text field the time uh, text text variable uh, delay to find this one how it is uh, I believe D or time I need to check that out later and then mouse click right variable uh, numpad text input numpad no text input uh, which is the same variable uh, okay maybe we need to double check this one but uh, I really believe you're gonna get the idea so lumps and this one is going to be the variable, it's going to be the output if it's running. Okay. So now this is linked to that one specific device. Here we can change this to visu my FB. Yes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to properties visualization this is specific, I don't know, 300 by 300. Yeah. I'm going to put this one here. Now I'm going to add option to integrate 
uh, Visu Visu Motors and now here what I want to do is to call basic frame and in the frame I'm going to call my visu okay you can see we have this and on the references I just need to call the instance of the function block that I have been using POU motor one now I'm going to control C control B and instead of using the motor one I'm going to use motor two okay and now if I'm correct this will work in a way um need to double check this the time I know 100% show up is correct okay so I believe this is in milliseconds so if I want four seconds I need to press like this and I did something wrong. Mm. Yeah, it didn't want to suspect it. It's my issue, not the solver issue in this particular case. So I should probably add something here. Let me to double check this one which is the best way to to run that part okay so trigger seven okay and yeah, i should probably something on the configuration of that part didn't do it perfectly but okay i got this as you can see i have different values and the same kind of help it start 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 or, or there we go. I'll stop. Okay, I'll start. One, two, one, two. There we go. Okay, as you can see, there are different options that are linked to the same, uh, to same style. So this is very easy just to test, and this can be done not only with our own function block. So imagine that you have, for example, a read bar, and you want to easily test this. You just instead of using here the FB motor control, the one that you have created, you just need to use the the one for the read and score bar. It's going to be very easy. So this is another level for how you can test your uh, function blocks, and it also allows you the possibility to um, to create your own visualization in a nice way and easy to be repeated over time. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.